Get some more lavash. Look, I love how it is. It's like beautiful bread. This is like the best thing ever. Let me hide behind it. What's up guys, David Hoffman here from David's Bin here in beautiful Yerevan, Armenia. It's really hot today, the sun has come out, and I'm here with my friend Vanuhi. Vanuhi, and Vanuhi and me are gonna go explore Yerevan today. We're doing a few different things. We're starting off right here at the Handmade Market, or made My Handmade in, Armenia. Handmade Armenia, yes. which is basically a craft market. It takes place every year, once a year. Yeah, it takes place every year, uh, almost every year, and it's two-day like festival where handmade crafts can be found here, only handmade crafts, so. Okay. And then after this, we're going to the Shedev restaurant, which is the first restaurant in Armenia with an open air kitchen. Yes. They, uh, they say the food's amazing there. Amazing food, amazing Armenian food. Everything is amazing there. So we'll go and do, you will see. And then what's after that? A museum? Okay, after that, we are going to explore uh, one of the f most famous artists of Armenia, Sergei Parajanov. His museum is amazing. Like, his paintings are made of some small pieces of glasses, some color, really, really amazing. So I, I, I bet you won't see it anywhere in the world. Awesome. Let's Explore okay. get in. Okay, uh, these are all handmade like jewels. So, uh, handmade. See, okay, the pomegranate. Some. This is from clay. So the first things we're seeing here are some cups. So these are all made out of clay, and they actually have right here the clay. So you can see how they make it. So this is what they use, right? This clay, and they make these beautiful, beautiful cups. So this is it right here. Wow, very nice. And this is also like this is the jug for the wine, right? I like this. This is like ancient. Yes. This is how they used to do in the ancient times. This is not only for wine. You can uh, use any any kind of liquid uh, into it if you want. Water, whatever you want. So next up, we got a lot of different wood pieces right here. These are like rings. These are rings. Wow, this is cool. Rings, and then what are these? Oh, this is traditional like clothing, right? Whoa. This is nice, I like this. Well, Western Armenia. And next up we have somebody actually carving. He's carving, what is this? Is that a stone? Touch card. Wow. <laughs> so it's the Armenian alphabet. You have the cross, you have the grapes, right? So the... Like symbol. Uh, so symbol, like yes. It's symbol, it's Armenian symbol, here. It takes you around a month to make any of these? Like roughly a month? Or just this one? No, just no. So, so three months. Three months finish. Yes. For this one. And yeah, every piece is similar. I mean, the size really depends. This is too long? Okay, yeah. Because there's some small ones, some big ones. Uh, this big one, the big seven one. months. Seven months for that one. Yeah, but that one's like a masterpiece, dude. That's like amazing. You have like the man on the bottom looking up. It's like angels. Angel, yes. Wow. It's really nice. Shnaragadzen. Shnaragadzen. You're welcome. Hello. Hello, hello. Do I match with the hat? Yeah. What do you think? You Good? can try if you want. I, I, can't, I don't need to try that. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's for but women. You have for men too. Yeah. For men too? What do you have? What do you have? Oh my god. So, how do I put this on? <laughs> okay, let me see. Let me see. Oh, it's tight. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. This is nice. I like it, but I think with the heat, it's a little too much. No, it's okay. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? <laughs> do we match? Do we fit? Do we... <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. Yeah. This is really, really cool. I like it. I mean, it's not so hot. You know, we have the sun on top of us right now. But in the mountains, I'm sure this is really nice. You know. But where's the pockets? No pockets? Yeah. No pockets. This one. Nah, it's not good. <laughs> it's Gumri. It's Gumri. The second largest, I guess. Second largest city. The second largest city of Armenia, and it's very famous. It's really typical Armenian city with some narrow streets, some um, uh, amazing museums. So if you have time, you can visit it. I'm actually going there like in six, seven days. I'm gonna be there for one day. The road was yeah. awesome. That was cool. So I think, guys, we're done here. I mean, there's yeah. you know a lot yeah. more, but I think we're gonna go straight to lunch right now. I'm Let's starving. Find Let's find the car. Let's find the car. Yeah, but I'm super hungry. Yeah. This place never ends. It's just like paintings, shirts, pottery, everything handmade. After a quick five minute drive, we arrived here to restaurant Shedeb, and here it is. Looks really fancy. 
<laughs> it's fancy, right? Yeah. And here we go, Shut Up Restaurant. As you see right behind me, open air kitchen. The guys to the right, they're making some bread, some lavash. Over there, they're making some other stuff. I don't know, it looks really incredible. It's like dough, they're filling it with cheese, different herbs, I mean, it really looks delicious. As you can see, the restaurant has really, really high ceilings, lots of different tables. This is like more like a modern restaurant. And it's also part of the group that owns the Lavas restaurant, which I visited yesterday. And yeah, I ordered a glass of wine. We ordered like five or six different plates. I'm super excited. I'm really, really hungry. I cannot wait to eat. All right, guys, so we're starting off with like five different appetizers. So we got the bread right here. Amazing Armenian bread, as you can see, two different types. We got this one, actually three. We have the lavas at the bottom. We have this one, which is like almost like a donut shape. And we have this one that's incredible. I really like this one, it's like really fluffy. We have a cheese board. The cheese board also comes with uh, a fig, right? String cheese and like three different other cheeses. We have, this is like a mix between uh, like veggies wrapped with eggplant. Then we have two different salads. One salad is basically just like fresh herbs, tomatoes, and the other one is a mix of greens and meat. So what I'm gonna do is first start off with a glass of wine. Mm. Oh, this is good. Not too strong, semi-sweet. I like it. I'm gonna grab this. I love eggplant, guys. Like, I really love eggplant. I'm literally picking this guy up. Look at this, whoa. Cutting it in half. So it's straight veg here. Mm. Oh my god. It's like almost like caramelized veg with the delicious eggplant around it. Oh wow. So we have a bunch of things here. Lots of different flavors. Peppers, carrot, eggplant. That is amazing. Mm. Like phenomenal. The eggplant, wow. So the, the veggies were like grilled, right? So they were grilled, and then they, they have this like, I don't know if it's a sauce, like an oily thing to it. It's a little sweet. I'm loving the eggplants here in Armenia. One of my favorite things on the planet is eggplant, and this is like, whoa. It's a roasted eggplant, and everything inside it, it's like an eggplant roll. That's plate number one. All right, so next up we're jumping on this salad which has veal, walnut sauce, some cheese. Oh, that's incredible. Look at this. Oh, I love the walnut sauce. I can already tell it's gonna be like a little sweet. Mmm, creamy. And you have to get here and get the venison. Let's try it. It's crunchy, a little sweet. Love how tender the venison is. And I like the cheese a lot. Different type of cheese. And you also have some cucumbers in here. I like it. It's light, it's gamey, it's crunchy, it's sweet, it has everything. It has everything. Next up, my friend Rita is serving me like five different cheeses. They all look incredible. They got walnuts, they got the fig, and all these cheeses. So the best thing to do is, once you serve yourself, get a piece of bread, some lavash, right? Bring off a piece, just go in here, grab some cheese, roll it up, right? Outstanding. And what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna get a piece of the walnut, right? Grab walnut, oh. Walnut, some string cheese, put it in here. Mix it up. Let's see. Mm. And next, I'm gonna grab some of this buttery one. Put it in here, roll it up. Make it like a little, a little snack. Oh wow, get some more lavash. Look, I love how it is. It's like beautiful bread. This is like the best thing ever. Let me hide behind it. <laughs> I'll break up a piece. Go in, grab a few different things. Wow, so much cheese. And this is sort of how they do it, you know? They mix bread with cheese. Lots of different cheeses back there. They're actually putting cheese into like these doughs. So it's like doughy, like almost like a dumpling full of cheese. Oh wow. This is the crumbly cheese with herbs. You have another like Super strong cheese in there. Wow, so good. Super dry fig. A little bit of textures, sweetness. 
Now for the main courses. We got two different things. We got a fish. This is a trout from the Sevan Lake. Sevan Lake. And that is the biggest lake here in Armenia. Huge lake. The fish looks incredible. What I like the most are the eyeballs. That's like, that gives you the most, uh, I, I think it gives you the most vitamins from my understanding. The eyeballs right here. Do you guys eat eyeballs or no? Yes. Yeah, it's the best. Look. Mm. Oh, super tasty. And then next to it we have a baked lamb. Baked lamb. I'm a huge fan of lamb, look at this. I'm gonna start with this because the fish looks very complicated. Lots of spines. The lamb looks incredible. The fat is the best. Mm. 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 Very citrusy. They put orange shavings on the top. You could taste the citrus, but so they so I'm guessing they baked it with orange sauce, right? It was different. Never had it this very fresh. You can really tell the difference between frozen lamb and, and, and fresh lamb. You have to do is either go in here and take it off on the bone. A lot of fat. Mm. Oh girls, this is great. I'm like drooling. <laughs> Just strip the bone dry. For me, yeah, lamb is the best. And they also had a little bit of mashed potatoes with citrus. Mm. That's different. Next up we have to eat this trout. So the best thing to do is flip them over. Right, so we have to find the bones. So slowly open it up. This is gonna be a hard one. Mmm, mm. so buttery. Actually got no spines there. See right here, we have to go through and slowly open it up. So you have lots of spines. You just gotta separate the meat from the spines. So good this piece. This piece has nothing in it. This trout is phenomenal. I really like the trout. Alright, so I'm ending this meal with some kur. Good red wine, no sweet. Oh, this one's way better. Oh, it's phenomenal. Yeah. Mm. It's full body wine, very sweet. A little fruity, but I like that. Wow. You want to try? No? Are you probably drinking all these wines? <laughs> Wow, lunch was amazing. Woo, yes! <laughs> <laughs> it was so good. Lots of good food, delicious wine, and now we're going to a museum. Before that, we're like right next to Republic Square. Check this out, Republic Square. This is the smack center of the city. I love the buildings here. Government buildings. This is actually the Marriott, right? This is the Marriott right here. Over there is the Parliament Building, or is that Parliament Building? The Prime Minister sits there, right? Yeah. And then over there, we have the History Museum. I mean, so many different things here, and then there's a lot of restaurants around here, like this is a burger place. So we made it here to the Parajano Museum. And that's the surname of the artist, right? So who's this artist? Who's Parajano? Uh, he's a famous uh, artist who is uh, making paintings of, uh, from glass. So we can go uh, in and all you can see there. So it should be seen and not to be t told. Uh, my name is Nare. Uh, I am a researcher in this museum. And first of all, welcome to the Sergei Parajanov Museum. This museum was founded in 1988, while, when Sergei Parajanov was still alive. So after his first exhibition in Armenia, uh, Soviet Armenian government decided to build this museum for him as a house museum. 
And uh, it's supposed that people coming here already know him as a filmmaker, but in this museum you will discover another side of his talent, his plastic art. In the first floor of museum you will see mainly some artworks that are dedicated to his family members, so to his life, his two wives and so on. And in second floor we have a shining hall where it's possible to see all his shining artworks from broken pieces of china, beads, shells, uh, so uh, we have a movie hall so this hall is a movie hall here you can see some sketches from his movie and as well as possible to see his movie the color of pomegranate and the last part of museum is like uh, uh, his uh, the, the part that should be his house but he died before the museum was open so he couldn't manage to live here so but in those two rooms it's possible to see all his furniture from his Tbilisi house and finally the last last hall of museum is a prison hall where you can see all his the main part of his artwork of his artworks that he created in prison camp all right so the museum of Sergei Panajao is really really beautiful and as she told you in the interview basically he was a film director who then couldn't direct films during the Soviet Union time and you know 15 years that he just had to like create stuff so he just started creating art lots of different art pieces one of the coolest things I think was the elephant over there basically his friend went to India when he came back he, he grabbed his luggage and he made an elephant because of all the elephants he told him about and then if you go through the whole museum is you know obviously all these different sections but at the very end you have this room which we're in right now and this room is famous because this is the room of his prison time so basically the only reason he went to prison is because he had an open mind you know the Soviet Union couldn't actually put him in prison for that so they said, you know, you're gay and you have to sign off on this paper and we're going to you know, find you guilty and we'll give you one year if you do. He did and they actually gave him five years, not one year. So he went to jail for five years and this is everything he created in prison. There's a lot of different things here, but one of the most interesting is come over here. So he was doing like very like, you know, very like Christian stuff, you know, really religious stuff. And the guys, you know, all the prison like mates didn't like that. So then he started doing this stuff, which is more like stuff in prison, just like gangster stuff, you know, naked men. I don't know, it's cr it pretty crazy. Uh, and then over here we have something he did in silver, and they actually used one of these uh, for a film festival. It's like the symbol of this film festival. It's the what is it? Yerevan International Film Festival Golden Apricot. So it's the award, right, with his symbol. This guy's a genius. So he did glasswork clay work he drew but obviously the glass work for me is the most impressive look over here so here we have three different pieces that he did and these are fish right three different fish over here i don't even know what this is this is just like crazy stuff i mean he's just like putting things together but over here follow me this is basically a representation of a flower so he put a flower together with uh, uh i forgot exactly what it's called but it's a, it's a type of alcohol during soviet union time the bottle and then because it smells he put a perfume next to it this is another really interesting thing he did. So basically he was at dinner at his friend's house and once they were done with all the dishes, he's like, oh no, clean the dishes and then I'm gonna write on them. So he basically drew on all the dishes. Uh, this one says clean the dishes, that's what they told me. Uh, another one says clean the dishes and then he drew basically the Madonna. He drew a few different things, you know, Armenia. This is actually a mix between, you know, the Soviet Union, Paris, and then... And then he drew also his face right here. So his face, like, two portraits of himself. That's really interesting. I mean, I would never think like, hey, let me get your dishes. Let me just draw. <laughs> He's like, you know, the most famous artist, I guess, right? One of the most famous artists from Armenia. And yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. We had an incredible tour today. We started off at the Made in Armenia like market, saw a few things there, interacted with the locals, saw them like chiseling stone. Then after that, we went to an incredible restaurant. I mean, I love the food there. Oh, so good, and the wine as well. I mean, when you come to Armenia, you have to eat their lavash, eat their meat, their fish, and lots and lots of veg. And don't forget the cheese. The cheese is really incredible. And after that, we came here, incredible tour. And I hope you love this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Comment below, subscribe to my channel. And guys, I hope you love this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below, subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next travel food adventure in Armenia.